Hey folks, uh, just doing a short video uh, of my new little uh, USB oscilloscope. It's uh, from Lab Nation. This is, a, this is a new company that got started on Kickstarter. So this is a, a brand new product. So it's not uh, completely perfect yet, but man, it's got a real good start. As you can see, that little bitty USB oscilloscope is uh, smaller than my hand. Um, I'm, I'm intending on using it on this Galaxy Tab S. It's 8.5 inch screen Galaxy Tab, Tab S, so it's just a little bit bigger in my hand. But as you can see, uh, you can see that waveform just perfectly fine. Uh, it's got a, it's got its own, this little oscilloscope has its own built-in waveform generator. That's what this little wire coming out the back's hooked up to. So uh, the signal that I'm looking at on the scope is actually being generated from within the, the little uh, USB oscilloscope itself. So I just got a little 10X probe hooked up to it. Uh, and this is what we see here. Uh, you can change your amplitude and your time base just simply by dragging it around it's just as easy as can be that's a lot easier than pushing buttons and knobs and all that like you have on your standard oscilloscope I can move it around anywhere I want time frame wise um, I can change my trigger level over here this this determines where it triggers at if I pull that up off off there uh, it reverts back to <laughs> Uh, demo mode so let's reload that oh can you see what I'm doing here I'm doing it with my left hand which doesn't work very good okay anyhow I reloaded the the waveform it's in free row Just using my fingers to drag the waveform out in both amplitude and time. You see, it's got a. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. It's got a little bit of a green temp. That's 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 letting me know that I've got that highlight. If I touch over here on the B trace, uh, you see a blue, a little blue highlight in that. Now, if I move things around, I'm moving the B trace. I don't have a signal on the B trace, but uh, um, that's what the deal is. I can get rid of that, have a bigger screen. There's a window I can pop up to give me the parameters for channel A or B, and I can position it wherever I want. It gives you the, the amplitude, the max, the min, the peak-to-peak -peak values, the frequency, and all that stuff. And then uh, if I don't want that on the screen, I can get rid of it. On my Galaxy Tab, I got it set up. I can do a screenshot just by pushing the power button and then click on screenshots so right there that stored this waveform uh, on my SD card so I can take multiple waveforms and save them uh, I do this on the machines I work on I save all the waveforms so I've got reference uh, um, waveforms for the machines when I have problems I can I can refer to uh, let me see what else uh, you can move the time base around anywhere you want it so you can see uh, the pre-trigger uh, signal and post-trigger signal. Uh, I already showed you, you can move your, uh, oh, actually I, I've got a 10X probe, so this value, the voltage reading isn't right. I gotta go to 10X. Uh, I'm gonna go trigger in on AC. Now we'll bring that back down in range. So now, uh, now it's gonna give me the actual voltage reading let me see my peak to peaks 3.04 volts that's correct because I'm using the 10x probe I had it set for 1x probe uh, anyhow uh, the the voltage measurements uh, mean RMS peak and all that's good the frequency uh, readings on this scope isn't very good yet you've got to have you got to have the wave for uh, pulled in to see basically the envelope of of the waveform before it'll give you a correct frequency reading when you expand it out to just seeing a few pulses it's not accurate uh, the folks are aware of that problem and then they say that's on their list of things to correct but you know really that and uh, you got cursors 
all you have to do to uh, to get a cursor measurement in either amplitude or time is you just drag in from the edge of the screen you place the cursor where you want it and you probably can't see that but that's uh, it says 1.16 volt for that cursor I can drag another one in from the bottom of the screen if I put that on the bottom of the waveform it tells me minus 1.41 if you want to measure time base you drag in from the left and right side of the screen place it wherever you want it I'm gonna place it in between pulses so you can see the line you can do as many of these cursors as you want you just keep dragging them in when you if you don't want them you drag them off the screen uh, so I don't want that voltage measurements anymore I just dra drag them off the screen don't want that measurement anymore drag it off the screen this thing's just so easy to do it's all done by touch uh, you can do both amplitude and time base if you go diagonal it does both of them if you just go straight up and down it just does amplitude you go left and right it just does a uh, time uh, you've got some settings in here if you don't like that black display you can go in here and say give me the give me the white display uh, some people might like that better I don't think that gives me enough contrast so I prefer the black you can change the size of your fonts and everything else. I've got it to the small mode right now, which I can see fine when I pull up when I pull up uh, that information screen. I can I can see everything I need to see just fine. So in any event, a small little package, easy to carry around, two channels plus a built-in uh, waveform generator plus that connector back there on the back. Uh, you can do eight eight channels of logic. Uh, as well it's got a, it's got little wires like this that you hook up and it's got clips on them you can put the clips on there and you can clip on the logic circuits and do eight channels of logic uh, analysis as well so this and this is a 45 megahertz scope so uh, it gives it's gonna let me see everything I need to see I can go down into the nanosecond range no problem most waveforms I look, I'm looking at, it's going to be a few microseconds wide, uh, usually. Uh, I don't go down into the nanosecond range very often, but that tells me that that, that since it can go in, down into that range, that uh, it'll be able to pick up noise spikes and that kind of stuff. So, neat little scope. It's brand new. This is only version 0.7 of the Smart Scope software that goes along with it. Uh, so they've got, to, you know, they've just barely got started. But man, it's a damn good start. I like it already, and it's only going to get better as they uh, as they develop a little bit more. But in any event, Lab Nation USB oscilloscope, 45 megahertz bandwidth uh, software works great. I love doing everything with my fingers, doing it on my little tablet. So anyhow, that's a little rundown. I like it so far.